First, let's see what is this GDR2 update. This is the second major update to the Windows Phone 8.1 OS. Intended to update over GDR1, this update also carried major changes to the system but Lumia features stayed in Lumia Denim. The GDR2 build starts with number 15 and using this guide. We will show you how to install 8.10.15153.165 build in your Windows Phone. Talking about the changes in the GDR2 update, here's a detailed change log. But, why the manual update? GDR2 update was only officially available to Lumia 640, 640XL, 735 and 830 devices only. All the other ways to get this build in other devices are now also dead or bugged. That is why this guide is created. Using this guide, you will be able to get your device to GDR2 update fully offline anytime without doing any changes or unlocks in the phone. Now, which devices can use this update? Any device running any Windows Phone 8.1 build can install this update, the OS version your phone runs is not an issue as long it runs at least the base Windows Phone 8.1 OS. That means even if you don't have a GDR1 build in your device, you can still directly jump to GDR2 skipping installing the GDR1 update in your phone. So, that's about it for the introductions, continue on if you want to install GDR2 update. Now that we are into preparations, we have two softwares to download, we will be using our Windows Universal Tools application to download these software, if you don't have the app, direct download links are also in description, so load the repositories and go to the displayed path. First we are going to download Windows Phone Cab Filter, but before downloading it, Go to the .NET Runtime folder and download the Runtime Installer. Run the installer once downloaded and install it. Once it's installed, go back to Universal Tools and download Windows Phone Cab Filter. Then, get out from the folder and go to iUtils folder and download the MSI installer in there. After that, you can close the app. Go ahead and extract the zip of the Windows Phone Keb filter to anywhere, I will place it in desktop. Thereafter, run the MSI installer to install Windows Phone common packaging tools. Once installed, close the wizard. Now, we are all set with software needed for this. Only thing left to download is this update cabinet set. The download link is in the description. Once you download it, extract it to anywhere you want, I will place it in desktop, that is it for the preparations, proceed on with the video to install the update in your phone. Before you proceed, take a good note of these. So, first things first, connect your Windows phone to PC, we need to grab a CSV file called installed packages from the phone, for that, we will be using get do logs, go to the displayed path in your PC. Once you are there, click on the address bar and type CMD and press enter, 
that will open a command window in that directory. There, start typing the command. Below is the syntax. The path can be to anywhere you want. I will place it in desktop of my PC. Double check the command. And when you are ready, press enter. Then, the tool will start creating the log cabinet file. When it states, command executed successfully, you can close the command window. Now open the newly created device logs cabinet file. What we need is the installed packages CSV. Extract it from the cabinet file. Then, you need to cut and paste the CSV into the Windows Phone Cab Filter folder. That's it for that step. Now, the next step is to filter the update cabinets. This is where the Windows Phone Cab Filter comes in action. But, first create a new folder in desktop, name it anything you want. Then, go open Windows Phone Cab Filter folder and click on the address bar, type CMD and press enter to open a command window. Now start typing the command. Below is the syntax of the command. The first path between the quotation marks should be the path to the cabinet file set we downloaded in preparations. And the second path between the quotation marks should be the path to the folder we just created in the desktop which is where the filtered packages are going to store. Recheck the command and press enter when you are ready. It will begin filtering the packages to match your phone. Wait until it's over. Now it's done as well. The folder we created in desktop now should be filled with packages matching your device. All left to do is to push these packages to phone and start the update which can be done easily via IU tools and is the next step we are going to showcase. Connect your phone to PC, in phone, go to settings and then to phone update. Back to PC, open the folder where the filtered packages are stored now. Click on the address bar and copy its path. Then go back to the IU Tools directory. Click on the address bar and type CMD and press enter this time too. Now, start typing the command. Paste the copied path between the quotation marks. Recheck the command and press enter when you are ready. Then, IU tool will start pushing the packages and when it's done, it will start the update in phone. You can track the progress in phone update settings of your phone, now, sit back and wait for the update to finish. The complete update procedure should approximately take around 15 to 30 minutes. If you want, you can unplug your device from the PC now, the update process screens in this video are fast forwarded. Now, the installation is finished and data migration is in process. If you made it to this step, then the update is mostly a success.
That's it, now you have GDR2 update in your phone. If you go to settings, then to system, and to about, you will see that you have the Windows Phone 8.1 Update 2 and the OS version is 8.10.1515.3.165. In this build, you can do almost everything except the root access. So, that is all about updating the phone. Continue on to no more optional stuff. So, we are on to the optional part of the video about installing keyboard languages fully offline. If you go to settings, then to time and language, and to keyboard and try to add another keyboard language, you will have to download each of them before you can use them. Since those download servers can also go offline in future, we will show you how to add these fully offline to phone. Download this archive from the video description. When downloaded, extract it. Inside the folder, there will be every keyboard languages supported by the OS, each language folder contains a single cabinet file. To run a test update, let's say I want to install United States keyboard. In my phone settings, the United States keyboard needs to be downloaded before being able to use it. But, I will skip downloading it and will install it by pushing the cabinet file of the United States folder. Go inside the folder and click on the address bar to copy its path. Then, go back to iUtils installation directory in your PC. Once you are there, click on the address bar and type CMD and press enter. Then start typing the command. Paste the copied path within the quotation marks. Double check the command and press enter when you are ready. Then it will start pushing the packages and start the update. The usual update procedure will occur but this time, it will only take a couple of minutes. Once you are back in the OS, go to settings, then to time and language, and then to keyboard, and now try to add the language we installed, it should be now installed without the need to be downloaded, you can use it now. So, that is how to install keyboard languages offline. Beware that this set of tabs are only for this specific OS version we installed in this guide. Proceed on to get to know how to install speech languages fully offline too. So, on to the last part of the video. Through this part we will show you how to add speech languages fully offline to your phone. If you go to settings, then to input and accessibility, and then to speech and try to add a speech language other than the default one, you will see that all of them has to be downloaded before you can use them. Since the fate of these download servers are also at risk, we will show you how to add these fully offline to phone. Download this archive from the video description. Once downloaded, extract it, Inside, there will be every speech languages supported by the OS and each language will contain two cabs each. To run a test update, let's say I want to add United States speech language to my phone. In my phone, United States speech language needs downloading prior to being able to use it. But we are going to skip downloading and install it offline to phone. Go inside the folder, we will need to push these two. For that, first click on the address bar and copy its path. Then go back to iUtils directory in your PC. Once you are there, click on the address bar and type CMD and press enter. 
then, start typing the command. Paste the copied path between the quotation marks. Recheck the command and run it when you are ready. Then, it will push the packages and start the update in your phone. The typical update process will take place and will take around 5 to 10 minutes to finish updating. Once the update is successful, go back to speech settings of your phone and try to add the speech language we just manually installed. It should be now available to select without downloading, that is how to install any speech languages fully offline. Beware that these set of tabs are only for this OS version which we installed via this guide. So, that is all for this video. Hope you enjoy it. Goodbye.